Hello, pretty people. Welcome to Simply Delish Duo. You guys, today you are in for a sweet treat. We are making my Nona's traditional crostata. What is a crostata? It's an Italian tart. It's a jam-filled tart. Yes, it's a jam-filled tart. And it's delicious. Mm -hmm. So if you'd like to see more of these recipes, please subscribe to our channel by hitting that red subscribe button below. So before I run down the list of the ingredients that you will need to make our crostata, um, let me show you the pan that we are using. It's just a round baking pan. Um, go ahead and use a pie, uh, pie dish if you'd like, or even square, it doesn't have to be round. And we've also lined it on the bottom with parchment paper. It just prevents your crostata from sticking. So we will start off with two and a half cups of flour, three quarter cups of white sugar, three eggs, and in this dish here, we have one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, a pinch of salt, you can probably barely see the salt there, and the zest of one lemon. You'll need vanilla, a teaspoon of vanilla, and half a cup of vegetable oil, and last but not least, jam. You don't wanna use a jelly because a jelly is too runny. It's, uh, once it cooks, it'll, it'll become too liquid. So make sure you're using a good quality jam to make this crostata and any flavor that you like. Today we are using, what are we using today? Cherry. We're using a cherry jam, but go ahead and peach, whatever you want to, a strawberry, whatever type of jam you raspberry, like. Raspberry, my favorite. Yeah, raspberry mm -hmm. too. So this is how simple it is. So, um, place your flour in a bowl which we already have done and then I've kind of created a little well and I just do use uh, do this with a fork by hand it's just as easy you don't need a stand mixer or anything so and uh, dump and go everything gets dumped in the bowl my eggs my sugar And also, the, I forgot to mention, we're using the vegetable oil, but you can use uh, butter if you'd like. Butter works fine too. But um, my mom's traditional, or I should say my Nona's traditional uh, vegetable, oil. vegetable oil, so we stick to her uh, traditional ingredients. My Nona would make the best. Yeah, she would. Mm -hmm. She would. And some vanilla. And then just give it a nice mix. And I will be back to show you once this is, uh, is, this is all mixed up so you can see what consistency it's at. So I've mixed the dough together and this is what you want it to look like, a nice soft dough. You'll notice I've got two balls here, a larger ball which will go into my baking dish. And I've reserved, I've saved about a quarter of the dough because we're going to place it on top of our tart, our crostata. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to roll it up uh, using a rolling pin and then just cut them up in strips and then just crisscross them on top. We'll show you that as we go along. So what we'll do is we'll just place three quarters of the dough on our baking sheet here. And you'll notice um, it doesn't seem like a lot of dough, but it rises. Because there's baking powder in this um, recipe, your dough will rise. Chica, do you remember when we go to Italy, Nona would make us our crostata with that apricot jam that, jam that she made from home too? She made the oh, best. I don't did. know if it was because Nona made it or because of, it was her own special apricot preserves. It was great and she'd always make it for us. Great memories. Great. Yeah, and you know what? Whenever I have crostata, I always think of Nona yeah. all the time. Whenever my mom makes it now, it brings back so many great memories. So anyway, what I'll do here is I'll just continue. So um, I'll just make sure it just has to be on the bottom. You don't really need to put them around the sides, just on the bottom because it is like a tart. So I've spread out the dough and make sure it's nice and even on the bottom, nice and level on the bottom. And you'll notice it's quite thin. It's quite thin, yes, mm -hmm. yeah. And now our next step is adding your jam. I think we'll do the whole this is a little more than a cup of jam. We'll see if we need it all, but let's go. Let's shoot for three quarters of this. Yeah, that's like about a cup and a quarter, so yeah, kind of looks like. Yeah, you know what? I like it. Uh, I like it real jammy, so we will need more. So yeah, so just add your jam in and spread it evenly. 
All right, so we finished spreading out our jam, our cherry jam, onto our crostata dough. And with the remaining dough, what, what we've done is we've just um, used a rolling pin and it out. Actually, and we stuck it in the fridge for a couple minutes because it makes it easier for you guys to cut. It does. So now what I'll do, because it's not an even roll, let me just kind of do this here. It doesn't have to be perfect. No, because it'll look pretty once you put it yeah. on anyways, and it bakes. So then what I do is just strips. And let's see. And if it breaks apart, don't worry, guys, while you're doing this. It always it does. Yeah. And then just... Tough. It's such a soft dough. It's a very soft dough. Just do something like this. A delicious soft dough. It's a delicious soft mm. dough. And I'll show you a few more here. Maybe I'll just do... Do you think I can get... No. It keeps breaking apart, but that's fine. It's going to break apart, trust me. You put it together like a puzzle anyways. Yeah. All right. So to save time... When my sister was putting on, putting on her jam, we, she had already rolled out this extra dough and stuck it in the fridge. Yes. This way you roll out your jam, take this dough out and cut. Saves a lot of time. Okay, so I just wanna show you one more. I kinda wanna show you the crisscross. Let's just do a crisscross here. So then you know what I'm talking about, the crisscross. Oh, we've got a full piece. So yeah, just crisscross it over. And you don't want to, you want to save some space so you can see the jam as well as the dough. Because this, your dough will rise as well as it cooks. So you want to see some jam. You want to space it out so you see both jam and dough. So we're going to finish crisscrossing this. And before we put it in the oven, we'll come back to you. And yeah, just you the, to show you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And give you the instructions on baking time. Perfect. All right. So we're done crisscrossing our crostata and it's ready to go in the oven. We've preheated the oven to 350 and it goes in for how long? About, about 30, 35 minutes. And you know what, you guys? My mom did not know we were coming by. She already made her homemade pasta, like put the ingredients together, put it all, and now it's just sitting in a ball ready to be made. So stay tuned. So we will show you a little clip on that homemade pasta. Yeah, just a little clip. Yes. We will eventually get to a video to show you the full video of the, the whole recipe yeah. and everything. Yeah, but we'll just show you a quick clip but for now, let me throw this in the oven. We're busy making pasta here. Sorry, the machine's a little loud. Don't know if you can hear me. Step one, we're making the pasta sheets. We've got a lot to do. So before we show you step two, we'll, we'll do all the sheets and then we'll move on to step two. And we'll also show you the sauce that my mom made. It looks so delicious. Step two, we've just rolled out all our dough to the thickness that we like. And now we're ready to make fettuccine. Simple and easy. Look how fast my Nona used to cut them by hand. I know. And she was fast. She was really mm -hmm. fast. She would roll them by hand and cut, them, cut by them by hand. hand. So we've got quite a bit more to go. So we're not going to show you all of that. But we I want to show you what my mom it. has made. She's made a beautiful, oh, there's a bay leaf, a beautiful sauce. There's a homemade meatballs and meat. There's ribs in there. It's so delicious. This has been cooking on the stove top for hours, so we wanted to show you that. So we're having our fettuccine with this sugo. Yes, and stay tuned. We will be showing you how to make this pasta in an upcoming video. Not, we don't know when yet, but in, not in the, in, it's in the near future. So we've taken our crostata out of the oven. It was in there actually for 35 minutes. It turned a nice golden brown and it looks delicious. We let it sit for about half an hour and then uh, we sprinkled icing sugar on top, but that's optional. We just wanted it to look pretty. So we hope you like this traditional Italian crostata recipe. Thank you for watching Simply Delish Duo.